Hello everyone, this is Professor Rathod from the Scholar Academy. So friends, today we are going to discuss very important topic that is the photosynthesis. So first of all we see what is mean by photosynthesis, the meaning of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a Greek word, okay. Photo means light and synthesis means to prepare us. Okay, photo means what? Light and synthesis means to prepare us. So now we see the definition of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis means the green plants prepare own food with the help of CO2 and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it form glucose molecule and oxygen is evolved as the byproduct. Okay, mostly photosynthesis is found in the plant. This is the process in which that plant can prepare own food with the help of CO2 and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. So chlorophyll, it is one of the photosynthetic pigments. Okay, there is the uh, chlorophyll, it is a plant pigment which can absorb the sunlight. Okay, so there are seven types of the chlorophylls. Among them, chlorophyll A is called as an essential pigment because it can absorb the sunlight and converts the light energy into chemical energy. Okay, so that chlorophyll can absorb the sunlight. So this reaction always takes place in presence of sunlight. This is a light dependent process. Okay, so now we see the equation of the photosynthesis. So CO2 and water molecules react together in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A is the photosynthetic pigments. Okay, it forms the glucose or carbohydrates C6H12O6. This is the structure of glucose C6H12O6, 6O2. 6H2O and 6O2 is to all. Oxygen is the byproduct of this process. Okay, whatever equation you have to see here, the mechanism of photosynthesis is not simple as like the equation. Okay, so it is very complicated mechanism of the photosynthesis. So that photosynthesis can be uh, that mechanism we can see in cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation in details. Okay, so uh, in that photosynthesis, uh, photosynthesis we will see very important concept that is the atotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition. So what is meant by atotropic nutrition? Atotropic. Atotropic nutrition means the living organism which can prepare their own food itself. Okay. So the living organism which can prepare their own food itself is called as a atotropic nutrition. Atotropic means which can prepare their own food itself that means which does not depend on others that is the atotropic nutrition and heterotropic means hetero means different which can depend on others that means they does not prepare their own food that is the heterotropic nutrition so next concept we see here chemoatotrophs what is mean by chemoatotrophs okay some bacteria like sulfur bacteria and iron bacteria can they does not have the chlorophyll pigments okay during the chemical reaction whatever energy is released that energy they can utilize and synthesis their food that is called as a chemosynthesis okay what is why it is called as a chemosynthesis because some chemical reaction is involved okay during that chemical reaction whatever energy is released that energy they can utilize sulfur bacteria and iron bacteria can utilize that energy and they can prepare their own food that's why it is called as a chemosynthesis okay so now we see some history about the photosynthesis so earlier experiment earlier experiment according to the earlier experiment uh, during the photosynthesis they can utilize carbon dioxide water sunlight as well as chlorophyll okay but whatever oxygen we get here O2 that can be according to this earlier experiment this suggests that oxygen is coming from the CO2 not from the O2 okay that O2 can be coming from the CO2 and CH2O that can represent the glucose molecules. Are you clear earlier experiment according to this experiment 
they suggest that whatever oxygen is evolved during the photosynthesis that oxygen molecules will coming from the CO2 not from the water molecules next scientist will come in 1930 C. Van Niel the name of the scientist is C. Van Niel he suggests that photosynthesis is the light dependent process means light is very very essential factor for the photosynthesis according to the C. Van Niel and he, he demonstrated that during this photosynthesis whatever oxygen is evolved O2 is evolved that will come from the water molecules not from the CO2 it is exactly opposite to the other experiment so according to the C. Van Niel whatever oxygen is evolved that will come from the H2O that means water molecule going to be split that is a photolysis and they will get the oxygen according to the C. Van Niel so next scientist will come that is a Robert Hill in 1937 it is also called as a photolysis of water Robert Hill experiment and it is also called as a Hill reaction okay Robert Hill 1937 he demonstrated one experiment so according to he there will be the photolysis of water okay very simple experiment he demonstrated just we have to see here he can take one beaker this is the beaker which contain the water molecules H2O you can take the water inside this beaker and you can suspend it the spinach use okay spinach use okay that spinach use having the chloroplast which contain the chlorophyll pigments okay and then he adds some ferric salt inside this water he adds the ferric salt it is a ferric chloride it is the reducing agent okay you can add and then he kept he can expose this uh, uh, beaker on in a sunlight he kept it uh, in a sunlight and he observed that after some time he observed that there will be the evolution of gas takes place there is a gas will be the evolution takes place so from this experiment he concluded that during this process what happened just we see this equation he can use the water molecule here h2o yes and he can add the ferric salt that is nothing but the unknown hydrogen acceptor 2a that is the unknown hydrogen acceptor that is the ferric salt okay that unknown hydrogen acceptor can accept the hydrogen from this water molecules this is a water uh, 2a can accept the 2h2 here we get 2AH2 and only oxygen is remain and that can be evolved. So 2H2O plus 2A, 2A is nothing but the unknown hydrogen acceptor. So this can carry out in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Actually, chlorophyll is present in spinach leaves, and we can expose this set in a sunlight. Okay, then what you observe after some time it is evolution of gas takes place. That means whatever ferric salt we can add, that is the they can accept the hydrogen from the water molecule that is nothing but the photolysis of water photolysis of water photolysis means what? what is mean by photolysis? photolysis is nothing but the splitting of water molecule breakdown of the water molecules so that H2O can be break down and we get the oxygen oxygen is evolved during the photosynthesis process so finally from this experiment he concluded that during the photosynthesis whatever oxygen we get whatever oxygen is evolved during the photosynthesis that is coming from the water molecule by the photolysis okay photolysis process is going on and then we get the water molecules that is the Robert Hill experiment okay so in next lectures we will discuss the how this photosynthesis process takes place that is site of photosynthesis on the chloroplast so in next lecture we will see the ultrastructure of chloroplast okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video then uh, don't forget to share and if you have any doubt regarding the photosynthesis you can add the comments and I will definitely help you whatever uh, problem you have thank you so much